Okay, so so guys, in this environment, I have a V center. I have two ESXi hosts. I'm gonna add a V uh, VDS. Now VDS is used to manage multiple ESXi hosts. How do you do it? So you must be in a V center. You can do it from a V center web client, or you can do it from a legacy client. It it can be done from both uh, both places. Um, now here in this, if you're in a legacy client, you would go to a data center, and then within a data center, you can go to uh, actually, you can go to configuration. Within configuration, you can go to networking. Within networking, here you have a VDS option. So within here, you can go to a VDS. To create a new vSphere switch, you can go to inventory networking. So again, going to home, going to networking. Right from here, you can go right click on this and create a new distribution switch. So what, what you do here, you will see it in the web client as well. Let's do it from a web client. All you need to do, you need to go to whenever, guys, you're lost in vCenter. So this is the, you can, you should, you can al always start from a home and it will take you, uh, uh, especially in the beginning, later on, once you know the environment, you know where to go directly. So here, I'll go to networking and within networking, right click on this and say new distributed di distribution switch. Now, we can name it as D switch or BDS or whatever. For now, we'll just leave it as is, second. And now it's saying this VDS, what type of version this VDS will be working? Previous environment, then you must have previous version of VDS. In our case, we, are, we have all of them 5.5, we'll just go with the first version. It's just a matter of which version of ESXi host do you have in the environment. Now, next on this, it's saying that how many uplinks do you want to have with this VDS? So, four uplinks and a network IR control should be enabled. Port group will be called D port group on this. Now, port group. So, right here, when we created ESXi host, the default port group name was VM port group and management was management port group. Here, it will be D port group. So, whenever you see D port group anywhere, it means that port group is given to you by the uh, VD, VD switch. So just leave it as D switch. And then next, no changes, just select 5.5 as a version. Um, and here, next, and finish. Now, once this is done, what it does, it, it, it is creating it. And as you can see here in recent task, it started the task, it is creating it, and it has created it. So at this point, what you just did, you just completed part Step number one. Step number two is that now you can go do configuration, what, what you need to do on a switch. For example, right here on this switch, if you select the D switch and you go to manage, and you go to manage in this, and in this, now it shows you the settings of a D switch. So it has just one port group. It has four uplink cards here. So all you need to do, just select D switch. And then go to manage. Okay, again. So whenever you're lost, where should you start from? So go to home, go to networking, and then here. So I mean, give it some time, guys. So is your recent task completed successfully on this side? It is completed. So you should be able to see D switch now. You have it. And then all you need to do is just select these switch guys in web client, anything that you want to configure, anything that you want to configure in vCenter web client, guys, always look for the word manage. So if you select this switch and you go to manage, manage means you want to change something in that switch. So in host, it's the word manage. In VM, it's the host, it's the word manage. So always under manage, you would see all configuration of a certain switch or, or whatever you're managing. Now in this, here you can see that here you have these. And if you want to add more switches or more stuff in this, all you need to do, you go here and it says create another distribution port group. For example, now I need to create a test dev port group in this. So I'm going to create a test dev. All you need to do, just click on distribution port group, new distribution port group. Uh, no, first you created a distributed switch. Now 
I'm going to create a post group inside. Now I'm going to create a post group inside. So again, one more time. All I need to do is, once D switch is selected, so here, if I'm in networking and your D switch is selected from here, um, your D switch is right here. Here in manage, in manage, once you are in manage and you select, you are in settings. All you need to do is to select new distribution port group. As soon as you go inside here, let's name it D. We'll leave the word D with this, just to know that this is coming from a distribution port group. And we'll name it test dev. D test dev PG. So this is D test dev port group for this. And then next, then here it is static bridging. We don't have to do anything on this. It will have eight ports. You can have more ports. Um, uh, here you don't have to do anything. Just go next on this and then finish. Now, as soon as it is done, guys, as soon as it is done, you will see a, a second port group on this. Now, now this is just to show you that you created a VDS and then you created a VDS, then you configured a VDS. Now the next part is add host that, that you want this configuration to go on, on those hosts. Guys, again and again and again, a question Okay. And it's not working? Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, question is, guys, never play with VDS in production environment. Uh, all VDS setting is basically given to you by networking team. We, as a virtual admin, we are, work, we are now trying to connect this network to a physical network. So, physical network, people, they would tell us that how should we configure this environment, then make changes if you're 100% certain. Playing with uh, standard switch is fine. Uh, I mean, you should you play. Standard switch will only affect this ESX, but VDS will affect everything that it, it is attached to. You can have two network adapters. By default, it has two. You can have two. You can have one. You can have uh, uh, many network adapters. Now, on this one, on this one, let's go back to, let's go back to, uh, networking here and right click on this and add manage host on this. So D switch again, right click on D switch and say add manage host. Add and manage host. Once you do, it's now saying, do you want to add host? Do you want to manage networking? Remove host or add or manage networking. Here we'll just say add host to this and then next. Here it's saying that what type of host do you want to add? So here, let's go with both. Now, guys, when working with multiple hosts at the same time, so in this case, uh, normally in real environment, we go one host at a time. We don't go multiple hosts at a time. So uh, now since this is a very, very small network, we can go with both of the hosts at the same time. So click. So incompatible, so it should give a message. Let's see. So no incompatible, no incompatible host with this distribution was found in the data. So both are compatible actually. Think about it. It's a wrong message. <laughs> okay. So here, next. Hmm? If it, there are three, just add three of them. And then next, here, you're adding a physical network adopter and VM kernel adopter to this as well. So physical adopter means same physical which card will work with this switch? Which card will work with this switch? Now, if you, if you do know that what cards are those, uh, for example, you have five cards here, five cards here. I would say uh, maybe go with uh, card number three and four, or maybe five and six. So so you should know what cards should be dedicated to those. For now, we'll just leave them selected and move next. And now here it's showing us, okay, so now I can see with 50, you have four network cards there. 
with 60 you have six network cards which card do you want to dedicate for vds so this is like asking you that if there are six network cards which card do you dedicate so for now if you dedicate any network card for example i'm saying that here i'm going to select two and three two on this switch let's see what happens so more than one error card no assignment physical adopter running course click continue to review oh yes 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 okay so for select and then assign uplink okay and now here so uplink number one will be this Uplink number two. Okay, so it's right here. In in uh, legacy client, it was simple. So here, guys, all we need to do first of all dedicate network. Card. For example, I want to dedicate two and three. So two and three on this, and maybe two or three on this as well. So all you need to do is select number two and just say assign uplink. So I already assigned uplink. So uplink number one is my second network card on that switch. Uplink number two will be uh, my third network card on that switch. So third, select third, and then assign uplink. And this will be my second uplink from this switch. And now I have to do the same thing from the second switch, second host as well. So select and then assign uplink. And then select and assign uplink. So now we have dedicated actually two network cards from each host for, uh, for VDS. So, which means that these two cards will not be used for anything that will only use for VDS traffic. So, once VDS is assigned to this. Now, once this is done, then you can click next here. Now, it's saying that which VM kernel adopter. So, since in the beginning we said we wanted to use this one management port with this as well. So, here, which port do you want to manage? So here you can say, so although it's a warning, if you don't select, it will automatically select the first VM network uh, management card and it will let it go. It will start using it. So here, uh, let's not select anything. Let's VDS automatically select this. So going back again, I'm not selecting anything from here. Uh, so VDS will automatically select the management port that it needs to use. Next. So where are you? Okay. Second one. Assigned. Yes.
Guys, from here, it gets the impact on your environment, on switches, that if the current settings that you're doing now, what type of impact is it checking? For example, you're assigning a physical card that is part of a high availability for another switch or another setting. So if that would have been impacted by your setting, then it would give you impact. Otherwise, it's saying no impact. Whatever setting you did, it won't have any impact on your current networking. No, then, then you have to go back and maybe remove the cards that are used for other uh, switches. So since it has no impact, all you need to do next and finish. So what it what it does, it 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 created the VDS and now it it is adding this VDS which is right here, manage post networking. Sometimes it would fail. Eight VDS on all of them. So here it says that it updated networking on 50 and 60. So you should see your task, recent task. And then right here, let's go on to our home screen. And within home screen, go to host. And within the host, uh, within host, let's go to, it added a D switch on 50 with the same settings here. So if we go down here, so it did added a D switch on 50. Let's see on 60. On 60, it also added that D switch. So which means from now on, whatever settings you do, whatever settings that needs to be done, it can be done just from one place and it will be copied on all of the ESXi hosts.